This is how you can use Excel to show survey results. We're going to take three minutes and make a Likert chart. Let's say you have your survey results for strongly agree, agree, and so on. You need to copy and paste your data down below. The reason for this is we need to split up our neutral response so that our graph looks right. So what I'm doing here is I'm linking strongly agree and agree to the above, but for this one, the top one, we're gonna divide by two, and then the second one, we're going to do a negative because we need above zero and below zero. And then disagree and strongly disagree are going to be the negative of our data results. And then we're just going to drag those over and drag this one down and we're all set. Now you can see we have positives and negatives. Let's select all of this and insert a stacked bar chart. So there's our chart and let's remove the title by clicking on it and pressing delete. And then let's make this bigger so it's easier to look at. Now it still doesn't look quite right, so let's go up to switch rows and columns, and now it's looking good. Now if you click on these colors, you're gonna notice they're not linking exactly how we would like. So let's go up to switch data, and we need to edit this. So we're gonna click on each one of these and press the up arrow to rearrange a little bit. We wanna make sure these are in the right order. So let's do this. We're gonna move this one, hit okay. And now when you click on them, they are linked appropriately and they're all in the right order. We're going to click on a few more of these just to really make sure we've got this right. Looks good. And now we're going to click on our bottom axis and we need to go to that vertical area and we want to hit max. Now what we're going to do here is change our colors. So you can pick any color scheme you want, but I'm going to start with a dark green for the people who strongly agree, a light green for agree, for the neither disagree, or agree, you could do something like a yellow, a middle type color. We'll do another shade of yellow. And then for disagree, you could do a lighter red. And then for strongly disagree, a bright red to really highlight those. So we'll click on the bright red and then let's close out of here. So when we click on these, all looks good. So next, what we need to do is click on this and let's format. We want to change the gap width to make the bars bigger. So we're gonna move that down in percentage. You can make it whatever you like. And then let's get rid of all of this data. This is completely optional, but you could turn all of this white. I had this data set up as a table that's not really necessary. So we can't get quite rid of the borders unless we go up to the table design and convert this to a range. So we're going to select the first table, click convert to range, and then the second one we can convert to a range and then we'll be able to get rid of the borders. This is helpful if you want to make this more presentable, unless you were going to copy and paste this to another tab. Then if you move it in place, you could remove your legend, but there you go.